I don't think everyone understands what all goes into being a professional basketball player. Not one that's in the NBA making millions of dollars, um, but one that's playing overseas, um, trying to get after and just trying to get better and move up and improve each year. You know, your first couple years coming out, um, <laughs> this ain't easy, man. Um, you know, we get to travel the world. We get to um, see new cultures and get paid to play basketball. Like, that's incredible. Um, but it's October, man, and the harsh reality is uh, I'm unemployed. So I definitely expected to be leaving by now. Um, so I had to jump in real quick. I'm actually editing the video right now. Actually, let me, uh, yeah. So I'm editing the vlog right now, um, and I realized that um, you guys don't know who I am. Like the people that I told about this, um, I put a thing up on Facebook and stuff. But if you're watching this for the first time, you don't know who I am. So my name is Greg Brown. Um, I've played basketball my whole life. Um, I went to Archers of Spalding High School in Southern Maryland. Um, there I played pretty well. Um, in my last year I ended up averaging about 18, I know, 18.6 points per game. Um, and I was on first team BCL, so that was a big deal. Um, ended up getting a scholarship at St. Francis, uh, Pennsylvania. There when I first got there, my career started off a little shaky. I, um, was a really good defender, so that got me on the court. I actually um, started half of my freshman year and then for the rest of my career, and I was a captain by sophomore year. Um, but what kept me on the court was playing defense. And um, just being smart, being a hustle guy, and you know, just playing with passion, honestly. Off the mark, and off to Drennan. It's Greg Brown. Oh! Um, and then after that, I, uh, I ended up playing a lot better my senior year. I ended up averaging about 12 points. Um, I was able to get a, um, a contract coming out um, in my first year in the top league in Brazil. Um, and that's where I played my first two years. Um, so, you know, last year I ended up uh, averaging about 13.6 points. I think it was uh, 4.5 assists and about 4.5 rebounds. It was a pretty good season personally. We struggled a lot as a team. so. You know, personal accolades, I can tell you guys all my stats just so you know, but um, it doesn't matter because we didn't win that much. So, um, yeah, it was a tough year, uh, but I'm back here now working out. I um, mean, I was watching the video. I just figured, let me uh, introduce myself um, the correct way. Uh, last thing I'll say is, uh, you know, when I recorded the original vlog, it was 3, I put, yeah, 305. Um, so it was extremely late. I was tired and I was whispering and it is a bummer to still be at home. Um, and not have a team I would love to be playing right now. But it's all part of growing. It's all part of a process. And it's helping me grow outside of basketball too. So, you know, one thing I do want to talk about on this channel is the fact that, you know, I was down in Brazil. We had about three training sessions every day. It was lifting nine to 10, practice 10 to 12, lighter practice four to five. Obviously shoot extra and add in one hour to that. You need recovery. So you go get the Normatec for your legs or ice. That's another hour, extra film, another hour. So now you're put at seven hours. Seven hours out of your day was for basketball. You know, that's a lot, it's a lot to handle. You're, you know, usually you're tired um, if you wanna sleep for eight hours. Um, so you still have another nine hours that, what are you doing? This is not to say I'm immune to this, trust me. I think I watched Fresh Prince through like three times my first Going year. Going out of my uh, mind, I thought she was fine. Don't know if her body is hers. <laughs> My second year, I think I watched all of Friends um, in the first half, and oh, I finished Uncharted in like a week and a half, or probably less. Um, but there was a point when I kind of realized, like, this is not helping me. Um, it's not, it's not doing anything for my future. So I actually, I think I left the PlayStation, and I just started focusing on other things. I started studying for an IT certification that I actually was able to get when I got home. Um, I started focusing more on studying the Portuguese 30 minutes, 20 minutes every morning when I got up. 
You know, as athletes, we have a lot of free time. Um, yeah, there's a small percentage of, of guys that are at the top making a lot of money. Um, and I think everyone has a chance to get there. Um, but I think we have too many um, young athletes that are driven, they're charismatic, um, they got everything going for them. Um, but then they just focus on that sport and then when it's done, it's done and they don't have anything to fall back on. Yeah, so I've been home working out, um, down with Jamal Haywood in Baltimore, getting a lot of shots up, working on my release. And then with Evan Williams, uh, I've been working on a lot of hip mobility, lateral quickness, vertical explosion, stuff that's going to, one, make you a better basketball player, but two, keep you healthy. And yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I'm waiting for an opportunity. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm confident I'll still find a team, um, but you know, you, you have to keep your head down and focus. And, uh, you know, actually a guy down in Brazil by the name of Jeff, his name is Jeff, the name of Jeff. He my name is Jeff. Uh, Jeff told me something. Um, Jeff, se você está assistindo, é, você é louco, entendeu? Você é louco. Mas você é gente boa, cara. E eu agradeço suas palavras sobre uh, as coisas malas que acontecem em sua vida e as vidas dos outros. Uh, he said, you know, I don't believe in bad days. You know, I, I, I believe in good days and then I believe in character building days. Um, so, me not having a team right now, you can look at it as negative or you can look at it as, you know, building my character to see, um, you know, how I respond to it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this journey that I'm going on. Um, I'm learning every day with this vlog thing. Um, so, bear with me. You know, basketball is great, sports are great, and they have gotten me a lot of places. I've been able to see a lot of the world because of basketball. Um, but I always remember that. Basketball is my tool to, uh, you know, live a life that I want to live, whether it be travel, whether it be um, meeting new people, or whether it be giving myself the availability and the time to be able to, you know, build something that I want to build on my own. So, um, yeah, I don't know, still, still don't know how to finish these. Um, I've seen some people like grab the camera and I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 I almost forgot. So I'm about to post this video right now, but I had to remind you, if you like the video, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe, uh, hit that thumbs up, um, and you can even share it. Share it with your cousin, share it with your friends. You can you can show your dog if you want. Um, yeah, I'm clearly still very new at this. No opportunity knocking. I'm just looking through the people. I've been playing like a fool and I ain't looking for the sequel. Uh, ten toes down when I'm looking at the ground. Live my life on the edge. I ain't never had a bounce whenever I'm at a...